Welcome to another episode of Cruising with the Clemens. My name's Mark, and this week we'll be in St. Louis doing an action-packed week of fun activities. So, as you can tell, I'm not in St. Louis right now. All of this will be in an episode uh, in a couple weeks, but what I can tell you about this episode today is that it is loaded with things to do. We are going to the place right on my hat right here, Pappy's, which I consider the number one barbecue in the country. Uh, there's some crazy places like City Museum uh, and a wolf uh, rescue. So stick around, make sure you make it to the end of the video where we talk a little bit about full timing and trying to book holiday campsites. We always forget the holidays and then everything's booked. So we'll give you some strategies and tips about that at the end of the video. So be sure to stick around. We are at the Lou Meyer Sculpture Park just outside of St. Louis and we are doing our Fall 50 hiking challenge where we're going to hike 50 miles over the course of the next two months. So let's go check out the Sculpture Park. <laughs> This one's called Rest. Wallies. Home of the Great American Road Trip. <laughs> this not quite as many gas pumps. Nice. Yeah, but let's go check out, see what it is. What are you guys getting? A sloosh. Sloosh. <laughs> sloosh. Okay, so we were thinking. Oh gosh. What flavor should we Kennedy get? Kennedy knows how to do it. What flavor should we get? Bryce okay, Psycho like, Orange Cream? Psycho Orange Cream. Okay, but like, try this, try this. Try. That what was that? Good. That's right here. The watermelon? That's good. Jolly Rancher oh, watermelon. Jolly Rancher. Oh, mm -hmm. Cooper's going for the suicide. Oh gosh. I got all of them. I got Cooper. all of them. <laughs> oh, now you gotta go for round two. No. Alright, you should try the orange cream. What do you think, Cooper, about Wally's? I'm better than the Bucky. Because? They have food stuff. Okay. The daddy got, he sacrificed himself and got a barbecue sandwich so he could compare it to Bucky's barbecue. Sacrifice and what himself. do you have to say about it? This is pretty good. I think Bucky's is better. 
Okay. Now, this is like a smaller version of Bucky's. Yeah. And it's very clean and very nice inside, and they have a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, the one big up that they have here that Bucky's doesn't have is the pizza he's eating right now. Yeah. And popcorn. They have like a whole popcorn they have a big, station. Yeah, they do have a big popcorn station. Kennedy, what was the bathroom nasty. report? Um, bathroom is as nice as Bucky's. As nice as Bucky's? Okay. Yeah. There you go. If you're coming through Missouri, in the St. Louis area, and also Pontiac, Illinois. And Indianapolis. And Indianapolis, look for a Wally's and check it out. It's the Bucky's of the Midwest. Right? They have Midwest hats in there and stuff, yeah. Yeah. And it's on Route 66. There so. you go. Okay. Good morning, everybody. It's really quiet at my house. I sent the kids to the jump pad. We're taking out a KOA this week. It's probably their favorite thing about KOAs. But we kind of got a late start. We went and visited family last night. We didn't get home until 10 o'clock. Um, so I kind of was really lenient on the kids. This morning it was like, eh, like go jump at the jump pad after you do your chores. And I'll pick you up from there because we are going on a field trip. Then we'll come home this afternoon after lunch, do some work then. Before we head out today, I need to stop by the office to pick up packages. A lot of people want to know, how do we get mail delivered? And I'll tell you that most of the private campgrounds allow it. You just need to call and ask. UPS and FedEx are definitely never usually a problem. USPS deliveries can be a problem with some places, so you just need to ask ahead of time. I mean, if it's like federal or like county or state campgrounds, that's a bit of a different story. So we try not to need things shipped there or if we do and it's coming from Amazon we look for an Amazon locker that's nearby but generally packages aren't a problem she said she wanted to talk about my package this was not what I thought <laughs> I'm so sorry people we're at the endangered wolf center you want to make a reservation ahead of time they check you at the gate and then you drive back in here so it's pretty cool so we're gonna go um, to the meetup spot for the tour the center has been in operation for over 50 years and was founded by Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom host, Marlon Perkins, and his wife. When we make our way back to the animal enclosures, we get a brief history of the property and encounter our first animal, a fox. We're going to be found in the southwestern United States. Um, we're we looked out as this pack of wolves was particularly curious about our group today and came very close to the fences giving us a real up close and personal view. Next, we moved on to the maned wolf. Cooper doesn't smell good. It stinks. What does it smell like? Skunk? Yeah. The other maned wolf in here is his mom. And his mom is third. really likes her. We just wrapped up our tour. What did everybody think? It was really cool seeing all the different kinds of Foxes and wolves and okay. yeah, it was it was really fun. What was your favorite thing? Uh, the training session that they did with the main wolves. Yeah, we we lucked out on that one. That was pretty cool. Is it the phoenix fox that are like really small? So fennec. Fennec. Okay. The fennec foxes here are super cute and mm -hmm. small and like very yeah. playful. Yeah. How about you? Everything. Yeah, we lucked out. Uh, the weather. I gotta tell you, um, it is. October, mid-October, we're here right now, and um, all the animals were really up and doing stuff, which is kind of nice. And she was talking about in the summertime, the animals just kind of lay around because it's so hot, um, but they do do tours through the winter also. Now, some of the animals that are more um, typically found in hot regions aren't as active, whereas the animals that are found in colder regions will be more active during that time. So if you get a chance to come out here, it's really cool. Um, highly recommend it. But definitely like the fall, is the time to come. Now, I think they said that they shut down a little bit in the spring, a couple of them, because um, they have animals that are actively having um, babies. So they'll shut down those to give them their privacy. So very cool place, good field trip for the day. All right, guys, we've had three things on our bucket list for St. Louis, and we are gonna do them today. Jen, what are we doing? We are going to the city museum, which if you don't know about, wait till you check it out. And we're going to Pappy's. We've been like dying to go to Pappy's Smokehouse, which is barbecue, and we love barbecue. It's supposed to be the number one barbecue in the country. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna top it off with some dessert at Ted Drew's Frozen Custard. So let's go check it out. We're at City Museum in yeah. St. Louis, Missouri today. <laughs> Look, Look at all cool. this stuff. 
The city museum is spread out over 14 acres and over 600,000 square feet of fun. So the best way to describe this place, having just watched Beetlejuice, is it's like if that movie set has is real life. It, this place is crazy. Where's our kids? We've lost our children. It's probably a good idea to have a designated like rally point that we did not set up. So I'm, I'm the parent yelling for our children right now. <laughs> There's no it. telling where they're at. Do the whistle. I, I've done that. Okay. He totally found the children. No, he did. He left us at the castle. Two seconds later, they came up behind me. We were up at the um at the top of the castle. Cooper ran down to get you to show you how it looked. Yeah. yeah. It was like a single log at um, yeah, look at this kid. He's already ready to go. But he's ready to leave us already. And then we go. Right, final thoughts as we're leaving. It was super fun. You can easily get lost. What What'd you think? It was super fun, but they need air conditioning. They they do not have air conditioning side. It does get warm. I can't. Especially At least they a, don't have it on right now. I don't know if they do in the summer or what. I don't know, but it was warm inside, beautiful yeah. outside. Yeah. Uh, but it's a great place where you don't need an excuse to be a kid. Yeah, because adults were like climbing through tiny. Yeah. Tiny see. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's adults all up in the plane right now. Up there's a guy at the spiral at the very top of the plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. You got to come check it out. Oh, what time is it, babe? Uh, it's barbecue time. We're heading to Pappy's. Pappy's is pick up only. All right. And she was like squeezing the hot sauce. We're here for the fruit. So it was a long line, but when you get in and you make your order, it was kind of cool because they took us over to this little station. We made our order and then we're like, where do we sit? And they had a table reserved for us because we're a, a group bigger than four. So they had a six top reserved for us, uh, which was really cool because we always have trouble finding tables. so fast. It was like three minutes. Kennedy, the brisket here is really good. That was my thing there's one on the floor. Did you get that? Yeah. Good? I got the ribs, which is what they're famous for. Best ribs in America voted. I'm getting tingles. I'm literally goosebumps. <laughs> it's so good. Is it? I'm tearing up. <laughs> I really like ribs. I love ribs. It just came apart. Got all dark. How good is that? So good that it doesn't need any more sauce. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What do you think, Coop? It's okay. It's okay? That's a big... Mm. Oh. You wasted it. 
She ain't getting that one back. Yeah, definitely don't do what I did and only get half slab. Get a full slab. Final recap. It was everything that everybody says it is. Yeah. Well worth the visit. I do not miss it if you come in town. Yeah. It's a must. I don't care how long you get a wait line. Come to Pappy's. Yep. It's better than I got the hat. Get the ribs. It's better than magic. Everything was delicious, but the ribs were, we're out of this world. Hoodoo sauce to go home. We're we really love the hoodoo magic. sauce, so I would suggest that. It's better than magic. It's better than magic. All right, last stop on our trip to St. Louis today is Ted Drew's frozen custard. Let's go check it out. So, anybody? Review? Um, the turtle's amazing. It is good. My Cooper? Down. It's good. I see that. This KOA is amazing and it really caters to campers and families. We can't recommend this place enough. The staff was amazing all week. The only downside to the property, it's proximity to a train track. This, so the campground delivered pumpkins to each site and a carving kit mm -hmm. and a goodie bag. Yeah, here's a goodie bag, which is full of candy. The campground had tons of activities for Halloween over the weekend, and most of them were free. So this is one of the things you learn when you're full-timing uh, or you just happen to know about this already, but RV parks do uh, holiday activities. So we are giving out candy for trick-or-treaters. This is the kids second week of Halloween activities. They will have another series of activities at the next place the following week and then maybe one more. Probably one more. Probably Actual one more. Halloween. So they'll have like a month of trick or treating and holidays. Uh, you know, because every single place we go has some kind of event going on. So yeah, we're doing trick or treating today, and uh, I don't know where our kids are. That being said, holidays are really popular in campgrounds, and sometimes as full timers, we tend to forget that a holiday is coming up, um, and something like let's see halloween fourth of july memorial day are big um events in campgrounds so make sure you book those well in advance there are people here that are local they live 20 minutes down the street and they are here for the the trick-or-treating activities for this halloween so make sure if you're going to be near you're coming up somewhere on a holiday and you got to be in a campground and you can't boondock make sure you book ahead all right we are wrapping up here in st louis we had a great week yeah. I got the three things off of our list that I wanted to do, and I added like a dozen more things to our list. Yeah. And that's kind of the way things go. Um, so for those of you that might be wondering, I actually keep a list on my phone. I talk to locals. Um, I do a lot of search on Pinterest or like TripAdvisor or things like that. And I'm constantly adding to it. I have a list by state, sometimes by city within that list um, of cool things. So I added a dozen more new things. So at some point, we will make our way back here, and I have a whole new thing for us to do. Yeah. 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 So uh, one thing that we wish we kind of knew, because we are at our three year anniversary and yeah. we're kind of looking back at when we started, uh, we're out in it. And uh, so we forget about holidays and how other people head out to campgrounds for holidays. Yeah. And sometimes we even miss our anniversary, which is today. Jen didn't. <laughs> but she handed me a card and I went, what day is it? <laughs> it's our 18th wedding anniversary. But if you saw earlier in this video, he gave me something that I, I wanted for, you know, our anniversary. I did, but I didn't get like a card or anything. So, okay. and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't like a romantic present. It was something we needed. So, whatever. but, uh, we're also, literally together all the time. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, probably, so we'll probably do something. I think that's a thing to remember too, is that. When the weekend comes and the weekenders show up, they're here to have a good time. Yeah. And it's a destination for them. So they're going to hang out here. They're going to play their music. They're going to, you know, for us, we're like, we are living here. So we want to go out and do other things in right. town. Sort of the opposite of what they're doing. 
But uh, yeah, if you're gonna have a, a day in, you just gotta kind of remember everyone else is here to have a good time too. And and they're certainly like it's their right to have fun too. Like we're we're all want to have fun. I mean, we don't all don't do it the same way, but that's okay. Yeah. Just, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Like, they're here to have fun. It's not their life. Um, yeah. They're working for the weekend. Yeah. You know, like all of us are. That, that being said, the weekenders are showing up. <laughs> I'll be prepared. If that's not your thing, then definitely don't book, like, the family resort-style places. Um, or resorts in general, I guess. Um, yeah. Because they are the gonna, they're going to have more people than even more so than they normally would. I think I think every year we forget about Memorial Day, Labor Day, 4th of July. And 4th of July. I, I don't forget about 4th of July. I usually book that one in advance, but I always forget about Memorial and Labor Day. Oh, yeah. And that's like the beginning kickoff for our summer, and then Labor Day is like that end of summer, and everybody wants to come out for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we've definitely gotten stuck with the, oh no, we don't have a place to go. Yeah. we. We gotta do better planning in advance for that stuff. For that kind of stuff, and I do like like for Christmas and things like that. I plan ahead because um, it I it makes me very stressed yeah. when the holidays are coming, and I want to know where we're going to be. So um, we are not with those people who like roll down the road with just that. Ah, you know, yeah. we'll go where we go kind of thing. I we have to be somewhere um, for a week because Mark works, and so I have to make sure that we're somewhere that he can work. Um, we can only travel on Saturdays and Sundays because of his job. Um, so, you know, those things I have to take into account. So yeah. I wish we could roll down the road, but that's not where we are in our life and it doesn't fit into our schedule. Um, and that's okay. I don't yeah. think, I don't feel we miss out for it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Well, next week we are in Kansas City. Yes. Missouri. Not the Kansas side. But we'll also do the Kansas side too. <laughs> of course we will. Yeah. But anyway, that's where we're going next week. Uh, be sure to watch next week and uh, on to the next adventure. Yeah, and I just wanted to say thank you guys. Um, we noticed there's been a lot of people that have been like watching and um, we really appreciate it. It means like so much like when you watch. And so if you want to help us out, make sure you hit that like button because that's the easiest way to really help us out. And it's free. It doesn't cost anything. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, we'll see you next week.